I'm Lisa Michelle. In this video, I want to show you how you can create journal prompts using Canva. And if you're not sure what a journal prompt is, it's just when you've got a journal um, with questions that will prompt your reader to respond. So instead of them just having blank journal pages, they have questions that can kind of guide them um, in their journal writing. All right, so I'm going to show you how you can create these for your journal using Canva. And if you want to see a full tutorial on how to create a journal, I'll go ahead and link one of the videos here so you can check that out. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to first create my design and I'm going to make it eight and a half by 11 US letter size. And we'll go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we'll have to do is create lines for the journal so they can actually respond to the prompts. So let me zoom in on this so you can see a little bit better. Okay, now we're gonna go to elements and we want a line. Now it can be a little tricky finding lines that are thin enough to work, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this one because I know I can convert it into a, um, a regular straight line. So we've got that, go up here and make it a straight line and then make the line weight one, All right? So it's thinner. So it's gonna go ahead and duplicate this line. I know it's not even, but that's fine. And then what I'll do is select them all and then go ahead and duplicate the whole group. I'm going to do that again. And then let's see, go ahead and grab this. And when you do this, make sure that you actually grab the line because otherwise that can be a disaster. All right. So we'll do it one more time. I think we're good. All right. So they're all uneven, but we're going to fix that now. So we'll go ahead and select all these, go to position and then space evenly vertically and then tidy up. And now you'll see that they're all even. So we'll go ahead and just add a few more lines before I group these together at the bottom. And if it's too far, you can always fix it. It's not a design tutorial, but I get caught up, get caught up making these videos. All right. So the first thing we want to do now that we've got the lines and all right, I'm not going to bother locking the lines, but you can lock the lines um, so that they don't go anywhere while you're, you know, doing the rest of your design, but we're not going to worry about that. I'm going to add the heading that'll go at the very top of the page and you don't have to have a heading, but if you wanted to put something like, um, you know, journal prompts or uh, journal work or questions, whatever it is you want to put at the heading, you can put at the heading. It's not necessary. All right. The next thing we'll do is put a subheading and the subheading is where the prompts will actually go. So when you're designing, just, you know, keep in mind where you want everything to go. And I'm glad I locked the lines because that could have been a disaster. All right. So let's zoom in again. So just for the sake of the video, we're just going to say journal the top center. And I want to make sure that this has enough space for the questions that I'm going to put in. So unless you're going to have really short questions or really short prompts, make sure that you give yourself enough space and you'll see what I mean in a minute um, for your question to fit and whatever settings you want to be apply to your final page, do that now. So if, for example, if you want to put your website at the bottom, um, you know, for branding or marketing purposes, you want to do that now. This way that'll be on every page. So you put your website here if that's what you want to do. Um, if you had a logo or something, you want to put that there. Actually, you can do that later. But if you want to put something else on the page that you want on every page, um, you can do that now. All right, so make sure it's centered. And so our page is good to go, all right? Now, what questions are we gonna put here? Well, you can either create a document in Google Sheets or in Excel, or you type in your own questions manually. Um, if you have something in mind, or if you wanna make your journal, make sure it's unique and personalized, I would suggest you create your own 
journal prompts and then just put one in each box of your spreadsheet. But if you, it's your first journal, you don't know what journal prompts to include, or if you feel like you just don't have the time, you can always go to chat GPT or some AI tool to go ahead and get the uh, prompts for you. So, um, I apologize. My computer is lagging today. So you would start in this uh, box right here, a one, and you'd put your first prompt here and you'll continue to go down here and just one column, but all your questions will go right here. But we're going to go to chat GPT. All right. So let's just say, um, 10 thoughtful, you can do as many pages as you want, but we're going to pretend like we're doing a journal that's got 10 journal prompt pages in it. So we want 10 thoughtful questions. Let's do short, um, short and thoughtful questions for a woman's inspirational. Let's just see what comes up. Not really the best at journal prompts. I mean, at um, journal prompts, at chat GPT prompts. So we'll see. Um, uh, you know what? This is fine. It's just for the tutorial. All right. So make sure that your questions are appropriate. Um, it's the ones that you want to include in your journal before you copy and paste, of course. All right. Because this prompt that I gave, it, it's not good. All right. I wouldn't put these questions necessarily in my journal, but like I said, I was going to show you how to do it. So once you have all the questions you like, select them all and you're going to right click and copy. Now you want to go up to your spreadsheet, go up to the top, this a one box, right click and paste. That's all you got to do. Oh, these, okay. You know what? I can already look at this and tell you that, um, these questions are too long. These are way too long. All right. So let's make these, make them short and to the point. Chat GPT. Okay. That's better. All right. So let's go ahead and copy these and see how these look in the spreadsheet. Cause you know, they've got to fit across the top of your journal page, right? So you can't have a whole paragraph here and have it fit. So now that we've got our, our 10, um, prompts, go ahead and save it. And then you're going to go to file and download. And when you download it, it has to be downloaded as a CSV file. That's why I say use Google sheets or Excel. So we're going to download that. And then once you've got your, um, questions saved, go back to our page. So remember, we want our prompts to go here on every page. We'll have 10 pages that look like this. So you go over to apps and you want to go to bulk create. Now this is a pro feature. So if you don't have a pro Canva account, I'll leave a link for a 30 day free trial of the pro account in the description box. You can go ahead and grab that and give it a, a try. So we're going to go to upload CSV and we're just going to upload the prompts that we just, um, 10 prompts that we just uploaded. Let me see. Okay. Upload those and they're right here. All right. So now that you have uploaded your CSV file. It says one data field identified. That means it's, it's good to go. You go over here and you're going to right click here and connect data. And you're going to just click on the same document here that you see over here. Click on it. Now it has the brackets. So once we've got the brackets, you know that you've connected the data and you're going to click on continue and it'll show you the 10, it'll show you the 10 prompts that we uploaded. I just want to make sure this is the right, the right document. Hold on one second. What daily self care brings you joy. Okay. Nope. 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 Okay. I'm going to do this again because it uploaded the wrong CSV file. So it's gotta be this one, I guess. Yeah. That first one. Okay. So now it's here. Go back here, right click, 
connect the data, click on this, and then click continue. All right, self-care expectations, realistic, let's see. Let me see. Okay, yes, okay, this is right. Okay, so now that we've selected everything, we hit right click, connected the data, got the brackets, we see all the right prompts listed here. I want to generate your nine designs, which will give us 10 pages. Let's give it one second. And then you should have your 10 pages all here. Okay, so let's just look and see and make sure that it's right. Make sure that they all fit properly. Okay. Okay, see, that's what I was saying before, you know, to make sure that this is long enough for your sentence, if you want it to all be on one line. So you want to go through, make sure everything looks good. Yeah, and that should save you a lot of time. So you can do it for 10 pages, 20 pages, 30 pages, it doesn't matter. All right, so that's really it. I just want to show you how you can actually add those prompt pages yourself. Um, you can always go to Creative Fabrica. They also have uh, journal pages that already have prompts that you can edit within Canva. So if you don't want to have to, you know, go to chat GPT for the prompts and then create the document in Sheets or Excel, if you have a Creative Fabrica account, you can go in there and use one of their templates and edit their prompt pages and use that inside of your journal. All right, so I hope that is helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I will address them and help you as much as I can. And if you want to see a video showing you how to create a self-care journal, check out one of the next videos and that should be helpful. All right. So that's going to do it for me. And until next time, peace.